Hello, I welcome you all. Crates A and B weigh 100 pounds and uh, 50 pounds respectively. If they start from rest, determine their speed when t is equal to 5 seconds. Also find the force exerted by crate A on uh, B during the motion. Uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crates and the ground mu k is equal to 0 0.2. So this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics and dynamics of 14th edition by R.C. Bella. So let's say we have the weight there, and also we have the weight for this one, and uh, we have the normal force, we have the normal force, and we have friction, uh, friction B, and we have friction uh, A. Right. So let's call this NA, this is NB. This is FKB, this is FKA, this is WA, this is WB. Right, so we are using the concept of linear momentum and uh, linear impulse. So we know, say, the summation of forces times the change in the time is just equal to M uh, delta V. And our delta V, okay, is just equal to the final minus uh, the initial, right? And uh, our initial is just equal to zero, and our final is equal to, um, no, it's not given, that's what we are looking for. Then uh, delta T is equal to, Five seconds. All right. So what do we have? Uh, so we have to determine the speed for all of them. So we have the force. So let's find, supply the summation of uh, forces in the y. So summation of forces in the y is just equal to m a y, going up in our reference. So we know that a y is just equal to zero. And therefore, we have the first case there um, for box A, for crate A, uh, for crate A, we have um, NA minus WA equal to zero. Therefore, NA just equal to WA, which is equal to 100 pounds. Okay, and then for crate B, uh, NB minus WB is equal to zero. Therefore, our uh, NB is equal to WB, and this is equal to 50. All right, therefore, our uh, FA is just equal to mu. N A and this is just equal to 0.25 by 100 and this just gives us a 25. And our F K B is equal to mu N B and this is just going to be equal to 0.25 by 50 and this is just equal to uh, a quarter of 50 is um 12.5 right 12.5 is 20 by by 2 is 25 by another 2 is 15. all right so with this information we can simply say we apply this equation this equation so if we are to apply this equation then we have the following uh summation of forces and if we have motion in this direction like so we do have motion in this direction okay so we're going to have a p minus fk fka minus fkb uh, all of these are times delta t is equal to m uh, v final minus v naught so p here is 50 minus 25 minus 
12.5 right n times uh, delta t, t which is a uh, 5 the mass we have 100 plus 15 divided by 32.2 and then we have v final minus 0 so our v final therefore we should be able to calculate this uh, so 50 minus 25 minus 4.5 is for 12.5 by 5 okay. times 32.2 then divided by 150 okay. uh, what do we have our v final is just equal to 13.41 uh, uh, four one or four two meters per no not meters this is feet per second okay so let me just indicate here the direction of the acceleration then we are in the second problem where they are asking us to find the force exerted by crate a on crate b so let's draw that so let's say we have crate b Create, create B like so and uh, we have uh, the weight what else we have uh, the friction we have uh, the normal force um, then we have uh, this force okay so let's call this force as FAB it's the same on either side this force here to be the same either on a or on b this is w b because this crate is b this is b this is f k b this is n b all right so we are still going to use the same concept f delta t equal to m uh, delta v okay and what we have we have f a b minus f k b uh, we bracket this times delta t and this is equal to m uh, delta uh, v final minus b original all right so writing this will have f a b minus f k b our f k b is equal to uh, 12.5 and then we have delta t which still remains 5 then we have m which is just a 50 divided by 32.2 times v final which we already calculated in minus zero and therefore our fab is just going to be equal to calculate it so we have 15 divided by 32.2 by 13.42 uh, divided by 5 plus 12.5 so this we get a 16.67 feet per sorry this is pounds okay this is the force this is pounds okay I think this is about it we have found uh, the force final our velocity after five seconds and we found the force exerted on crate uh, the force exerted by crate a on crate b which is the same force exerted by crate b on crate a i think this is about it and i hope this video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing sharing my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh,